This is a continuation in a video series on the Ralph steam engine. In this video, we are fabricating the firebox and stand for the steam engine. This will provide supporting structure for the boiler and provide a location for the denatured alcohol burner that we will use to provide heat for the boiler. Construction notes describing the part and the machining operations can be found at the Eclectic Builds website, listed in the description. To start, a wide marker pen is used to apply layout die on a sheet of mild steel. Not quite as effective as blue die cam marking die, but more convenient. The initial layout lines are scribed onto the sheet steel using a height gauge. The positions for the holes are established by using a prick punch and a set of calipers to progressively work from the central datum line. Waste material around the edges is removed using a bandsaw. The firebox will be attached to the base of the boiler, so it is bent to shape over the copper tubing originally used to construct the boiler. With a little light persuasion from a soft-faced hammer, the firebox conforms to the correct diameter for the boiler. The firebox lower arms need to be riveted together. To keep the firebox shape tightly conformed to the boiler, cable ties are used to pull it tight onto the copper tubing. Then the position of the rivet holes is punched and the two lower firebox arms are joined with a copper rivet. The stand for the firebox is also made from sheet steel. The basic layout lines are marked out using the height gauge that we have seen used in a couple of earlier videos. Just like the firebox, hole positions are marked with a prick punch to guide the drill bit. 
The centre diameter for the placement of the firebox is marked out using calipers. Then all the holes are drilled. I don't have a sheet metal brake to form the sides of the stand, so I pressed my vise, a hardwood block and a soft-faced hammer into service. which worked fine until the last edge, but fortunately I have a small anvil that worked out at a pinch. The firebox and the stand are soft soldered together using C-clamps to keep the parts mated together. After fluxing, pieces of soft solder are cut to length and placed around the joint. The firebox and stand are heated until the solder flows, forming a seam. The result is a very clean joint. With a little clean up on the buffing wheel, the firebox is ready for some Rust-Oleum black spray enamel paint certified for high heat purposes. Please like this video to increase the number of people who will get to see it. And if you'd like to see the Ralph steam engine come to life in further videos, hit the subscribe button.